Hello, good day everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel, a channel that's full of information on education subject, research subject, and even the physical education subject. So this afternoon, we were going to discuss, as requested by our many viewers and friends in Facebook, to discuss on chapter two or review of related literature and studies. So let's define, ladies and gentlemen, what do we mean by the word review of literature? So when we say review of literature, it refers to the thematic narrative in the form of a documented and extended essay of the research problem. So money, meaning this would be the body of your research paper. It should be in a form or the way you present your topic, especially it acts the thematic narrative in the form of a documented or again extended essay. So they, this also are the major process that leads the researcher to pass theories, concepts and or technologies developed related to the present study. So meaning it will help you on defining and giving your past theories or even concepts or technologies. It is also use your RRL as the, to justify your present study. So what are the review of related literature? Those are the review of write-ups, readings, and studies related to the present study and also to determine the similarities and differences of findings between the past and present study. Also, it will give insights into the aspects of the problem that are uh, even critical and controversial. Also, your RRL provides information on the aspects which have been studied and not yet studied and what should be read or not read. Actually, your RRL or chapter two will help you in answering your chapter four or your presentation and interpretation of data. Also, RRL provides the study with a conceptual framework justifying the need for investigation and it leads the researcher into specific questions to ask in the study. So in our RRL, we will going to focus only on your variables of the study. So what else? RRL also, it presents the relationship among variables that has been investigated. So for example, if you have two variables, so it is good that you will going to present a thematic presentation of your variables or your two variables. Now, what do you mean by the word literature? A literature, it, these are the written works collectively, especially those of enduring importance, exhibiting creative imagination and artistic skill in a particular period, language and subject. Now, also it includes in the chapter two is our related reading. So what are those related readings? Those refers to laws, directives, such as circulars, orders and memoranda related to your study. Also, when we say studies, it refers to published and un unpublished research studies. So you can find related studies, the published or unpublished thesis or research studies in the libraries, also to your graduate um, younger, uh, older sister or brother. And also the RRL provides information about the research methodologies used. Sometimes, for example, you are presenting your research design, you should have a good related literature for that. Also, it provides findings and conclusions of the past investigation, which may be related to findings and conclusions of the study on hand. So what are the purpose of RRL? First, delimit your research problem. Second, seek new approach. Third, it will give you insights. Four, avoid sterile approach. Fifth, provide information on researchable areas. So how to prepare your review of related literature? First thing to do is that you will go into list the keywords. Second, check preliminary sources. Third, take down notes. Four, take note of authors, references, and year of publication and pages. So what are the mistakes in making your chapter two? Many students are doing this. Number one, they are very in a hurry or hurrying. So that is a mistake. Second, secondary data collection. 
And the third is incorrect citation. So how to cite a literature? So I have here presented, for example, when the literature is coming from a journal, here is the order. First, you write the author's surname, initial, the year of publication, the title of the paper, the name of the journal, the volume number, and the page number. What if it is coming from the reference book? So the order is author surname, initial, year of publication, full title of book, edition, publisher, place of publication, and the page number. So how to provide pagination? So use P before the page when you quoted a certain page or pages. So I have here the example. Use PP after the page when you quoted the whole text from page one to the last page of the references. So example. So literature cited or bibliography. So here is another example. Yeah. So again, thank you for your request in my YouTube channel. Continue to subscribe and share to your classmates, friends who are now in the process of research paper. Thank you and God bless.